Hello, and welcome to part one. So if you haven't already know, our series on Korra has really taken off. Now, while we spent a week diving into this story, there's a lot of things that we actually almost missed. Now watch this clip. Now, while taking a look at the shade room, we were actually able to see that from the course of the entire week, the shade room has actually failed to produce one story about Korra. And let's investigate why. And like you guys already know, before we start our story, we kind of got to lay out the key players. Now, this is Angela, and she's the founder of The Shade Room. The Shade Room was actually founded in 2014, and Angela is actually the one who spearheaded the entire operation. And while The Shade Room needs no introduction, it's very imperative that we actually start our investigation here. And as a nosy bystander, let's try to figure out exactly why The Shade Room failed to actually post a story about Korra. So like a nosy bystander, I did some digging. And I actually found this Elle magazine article about the shade room and look at this little blurb that Cardi B inserted herself in. Now, according to Elle magazine, Cardi B officially declared herself to not mess with the shade room. She stated that after leaving a number of posts on a few pictures from the shade room, they went ahead and deleted her comments and she didn't understand why. Cardi B also stated that the shade room never posted any positive highlights of her career and she thought that was kind of shady. But it actually doesn't stop there. The singer Summer Walker actually stated that the shade room was a disgusting place. Summer stated that it's where the insecure feel the most confident. It's where people's lower selves thrive. But that's not all. In a deleted post, actor Lakeith Stanfield stated that the shade room was anti-black and was problematic for the black community. And don't worry, honey, because there is plenty more on the internet where that came from. Outside of deleting comments from artists they may not like and only highlighting the ones that they do, The Shave Room does have a close connection with The Potter's House. And let's check that out. Just a month ago, our good friend Angela here is actually seen on the stage with Tori Roberts. And if you aren't caught up to speed, Tori happens to be married to Sarah Jakes, T.D. Jakes' daughter. And if you think that Angela just randomly sat on stage with Tori Roberts is a one-time dealing, you'd be wrong. Angela actually has her roots in the Potter's house, and we're going to get into that in part two. Because I'm telling you, the ties between the Shade Room and the Potter's house go a lot deeper than you think. 